Hey guys, we are at number seven let's play for Dragon Age. I'm kind of barren looking here. We are at a Marmalade Alert level zero and the Jello Alert level zero. Both are not here at the moment. Marmalade's asleep. Jello's at work. Report to the Haven's Chantry. Let's do it. I guess that'll be the first thing we go to. Does it trouble you? Oh, sorry, guys. I got distracted here. Um, let's see. Ooh. Oh, I guess the image is not anymore. It's stopped spreading, and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Sounds like fun. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. Oh, I have a lot of humor, sweetie. A lot of humor. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are, we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. A pleasure. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That was quick. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Mages or Templars for help is currently out of the question. The Herald of Andraste? Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I, um, I don't know. I'm not sure how I should feel. The Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. So I'm the problem. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I would love to talk to her. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. 
I won't leave this all to the Herald. Operations. The War Table allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition throughout Orlais and Ferelden. Mother Trisels in the Hinterlands, which can be found on the Ferelden side of the table. Part of me really wishes the games wouldn't keep adding more stuff like this. I just want to go through the story, but we'll do it anyways. Um, let's go towards Ferelden. Conquered by Orlais, torn by civil war, ravaged by the fifth blight. Ferelden is no stranger to hardship. With the veal weakened, the land is more turbulent than ever. No one about Orlais. Known for its culture. You were saying something about Thullen? Hmm? I, yes. Haven has limited space for our soldiers to train. Perhaps we could set up something over here. Known for its culture of extravagant nobility, it also has the birthplace of the Chantry, Orlais is the most powerful human nation in Thetis. Um, I have power, but I don't... Let's go to Ferelden. War Table. The Inquisition can unlock new areas for you to explore through scouting operations. Perform the scouting operation for the Hinterlands on the Ferelden side of the War Table. Now. Um... Okay, so I'm kind of confused. Oh, wait, here we go. Scout the Hinterlands. Oh, power. That must be what I need to do to spend it. Okay, let's do it. Scout the Hinterlands. Mother Gazelle was last seen in the Hinterlands outside Redcliffe, tending refugees who fled to fighting between renegade Templars and apostate mages. The latest report suggests the vicious struggle between the two groups has spread to the Hinterlands. Catching refugees and Mother Gazelle in the middle, it is vital to protect her and, if possible, restore order in the area. If Gazelle dies, any hope of Chantry support dies with her. My scouts will slip past the fighting, find her, and protect her with their lives. Do it. Oh, badasses. This is kind of an interesting side thing where you can send troops in. Sort of a more in-depth version of Assassin's Creed Assassins from your cult group. Whatever you want to call the Assassins. Inquisition scouting report. Scout the Hinterlands. We avoided the fighting as best we could. It's every bit as bad as we'd feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves, and it appears that the Templars here aren't following anyone's orders any longer. We located Mother Gazelle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the refugees until we've ensured their safety. That will be hard to do without troops to push the apostates and the Templars out of the area. Commander Cullen asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe who lives in... Oh, I'm sorry, I guess I can remember. Who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been able to get through to him. Lead Scout Hardy. New area unlocked. Accept the new report. Like, how would I not accept this report? Really? Would you like to gather your party and venture to the Hinterlands now? Of course. Ooh, party selection. Can we take them all? Um, I definitely will take Varric. He is awesome. And Cassandra, of course. And I'll take Solas. I have room. Let's confirm this puppy. Herald of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no back talk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's Hightown? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. That is awesome. Pleased to meet you, Harding. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here. And people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. I love the fact that she's not super skinny, sexy armor. That is awesome. So I have to clear two raid fade rifts. 
All right, whole and establish six camps. So let's look around first. Let's. This is kind of cool. Do I want to rest? I don't think I want to rest right now. And I can't talk to them. Inspect requisitions. No schematics available. Okay. Ooh, no, I don't want to change the party. We got enough. Oh, wait, can I change the Harding? Scout Harding? Nope. We're good. We're good. I haven't collected more people. Equip potions. Okay, we got healing. Select which potion to take on the next thing. Of course the healing, but... Can we... I guess that's it. That's all we have. I, we are low level. I mean, this is still starting. We are still in the entry level. I kind of love it. This is going to be one of those long-term games. Clear the threats of the crossroads. Hey, guys. Okay, so I guess we'll do the clear the threats at the crossroads. We're not going to be able to get anything, are we? Oh, wait. Hey, requisition officer. How you doing, buddy? Report. What is it? This could help us. Acquired recipe, Inquisition Tapestries. What the hell is that? Let's go back over here and take a look. Can, is it something I can do in this? Nope, not. Oh, inspect requisitions. There we go. Is this uh, Inquisition Tapestries? Orlesian nobles are climbing for tapestries with an Inquisition theme. We'll pay handsome for any coming directly from artisans. Five velveteen and four decorative gems. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. We can come back and do it later. Oh my god, I didn't buy my stealth stuff. I'm like looking really... Look at this. Look at my dress. Not appropriate. Okay, so... Okay, let's get going down there then, guys. Because I don't think there's anything here, is there? Nope. We're down. We're out of here. Uh, Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, guys... I, I see now where I will be cutting chunks out is when I'm randomly running around here and fighting random things. Like these mission things, clear to threats of the crossroads, I'll, I'll film that. But, but like random things just to build up, we won't do that. Ooh, what's up here? Let's check it out. What is going on up here? The Hinterlands. I discovered the outskirts, guys. Earldon after the Blight. What is that? Let's read that. Okay, Cullen, whatever you've heard of Kirkwall's Rebellion, the truth is far worse. I would spare you that. What remains of Kirkwall's Templars have been under my command for the past few years. We have done what we could to assist the city's recovery to restore some semblance of order, but my time here is done. Seeker Pentagast has approached me. She wishes to stop the war between mages and Templars. She's been recruiting men and women to the cause and wishes me to oversee the group's military concerns. If the Conclave goes well, then we'll not be needed. If not, we stand ready. I have decided to take Seeker Pentagast's offer. The circles have fallen. I can give no more to the Templar Order, nor it to me. The Maker has shown me a new path. I must take it. Excerpt from a letter sent to Southreach by Commander Cullen. So, guys, we'll just go over these last few ones that we have. Because we're pretty much wrapped up. We're pretty much ended where we can go. Leilani. Oh, I love her. She has many names. Most know her sister Leilani or the Nightingale. Some refuse to speak her name at all, referring to her only as the left hand of the divine. The shadow behind the sunburst throne. The spy master Marjolaine trained Leilani from a young age. For years, Leilani was Marjolaine's instrument in the great game of Orlais. While Leilani was devoted to Marjolaine, the reverse was not true. Marjolaine betrayed Leilani and almost succeeded in killing her. Leilani survived the betrayal thanks to the revered Mother Dorothea. Following this betrayal, Leilani spent several years in a cloister in Ferelden, hiding from her past. Inspired by the Reverend Mother Dorothea, Leilani dedicated herself to her faith, discovering peace in a simple life of devotion. But when the fifth blight began, she received what she believed a vision from the Maker. This prompted her to leave her sanctuary, taking up arms against the Darkspawn. Several years after the defeat of the Archdemon, Leilani received a summons from Dorothea, now divine Justina V. She returned to Orlais to become an agent of the Sunburst Throne. Justina perished in the explosion that destroyed the Divine Conclave, and Leilani became a founding member of the Spy Master of the New Inquisition. And what I loved about Leilani was in the first game, her and my character actually dated. She was pretty cool. I liked her a lot. Um, Josephine Montelet. Josephine is a noble from the nation of Antiva. She was educated in Valroyo, where she built connections among the court. Once she finished her schooling at a surprisingly young age, Lady Montelet became an official diplomat between King Fulgeno of Antiva and the Empress Celine of Orlais. The appointment suits her. She's well-traveled, familiar with many forms of etiquette, and by all accounts, a skilled negotiator. 
If that, oh, if that endorsement does not survive, Josephine is a personal friend. I have faith in her. We require someone both influential and trustworthy to be an ambassador for the Inquisition. You cannot tell me you would prefer to take the job yourself, Sister Leilani. Okay, we're going to go over a couple of the opened um, crafting materials. Witherstock, Elodia. I said you could take a few components for your personal use. I'm certain I didn't say you could empty our stores. Enchanter Inus looked at like she was shitting hognuts when she noticed. Do you know how long it took to collect that wither stock? I know what you're doing with it. No one needs that many warming droughts. I'm locking the chest. Find your own wither stock, or perhaps either you or Farron could try to stick to your own quarters. A note written by Prentice Ferelin of the Ferelden Circle. Maker Vera. That was not what was going on. All the wither stock in the chest was dried anyway, and you know it's only efficacious as a preventative when the sap is fresh. I'm more interested in its effects on the mind when combined with certain other plants. Ines knows all about it. Just ask her. She probably forgot that I'd already told her, old bat. And please, Farron. And please, Farron and I are more than able to amuse ourselves without resorting to the tired old dip and stir. Maybe if you got out the botanical selection and looked at the other books. Apprentice Elodia's reply. That was kind of cute. And then the last one for the crafting materials is the Blood Lotus. Do not try to get out of get out of this. We were told we were the best. That is why you were contracted. Was it not you who obtained the 200 white blooming rose bushes for the Empress Winter Ball last year? The Comtesse has been infinitely patient till now, but she doesn't understand why it's so hard to fill the garden pool. She wants no more excuses, and no, she will not compromise with the Dawn Lotuses. They're white. The flowers have to match the silk canopies. It is crucial. Dark purple, dark red. Do not try to frame this as a safety issue. The guests will be perfectly safe. Why, if they experience any hallucinations from the concentration of lotus essence in the air, I'm certain it will only make the evening more thrilling. I don't care oh, I don't care if you have to send, send someone to some for all them peat bog to get it all. Just do it. A note from Chamberlain Laurent to Grand Gardener Umbert Vaclan over the decorations for Comtesse d'Arnais' summer garden party. According to gossip in Val Royo, the Chamberlain did succeed in convincing Grand Gardener Vaucland to provide 420 lotus plants. The party was considered by most to be a roaring success. Even though the e evening concluded with at least 12 guests asleep on the lawn, three in the pool, and one lady losing several teeth trying to take a bite out of a marble statue of the Comtesse's father, which she was convinced was made of cake. Okay, guys, I think that's where we'll wrap up this Let's Play. It's the seventh Let's Play of Dragon Age. We have some more to read, but, you know, we'll get to that later. We'll, we'll come to it as we go. So, until next time, take care. He's a cute dog. He's a cute side of your face, too.